The next special group of special tests that we're going to be doing are going to be for muscle tightness and muscle pathology. Um, the first one that we're going to be doing is called a, a Thomas test. And for this one, uh, we're going to have the patient in a supine position with his uh, legs off the edge of the table. Um, and uh, the, it's also helpful if the knees are bent. Uh, and then what we're going to be doing is we're going to uh, be placing uh, one hand under the small of the back, um, uh, down under here. Uh, and with the other hand, what we're going to be doing is we are going to be uh, flexing the hip or you can have him hold it there in that position as, fa as far as he can. And um, what we're looking for uh, is a if the hip is flexed, uh, you're unable to for the the knee. Uh, the lower leg moves into extension. Uh, that would be a, a positive test for a tight rectus femoris. Uh, if the leg raises off the table uh, in this position, coming up onto your hand, that would indicate. Uh, that the um, uh, iliopsoas tightness. Next special test that we're going to do for muscle tightness or pathology is called the 90-90 straight leg test. Again, we're going to have the patient in a, in a uh, supine position. And then what we're going to do is um, have uh, um, both uh, knees can be uh, flexed up here to uh, 90 degrees and then the, the hips are flexed at 90 and the knees are flexed at 90. And then what we're going to do is we are going to uh, um, instruct the patient to actively extend his, his tight hip to see how far he can extend it. And again, what we're looking for there, if it's less than normal, uh, it would be a sign for uh, a positive test. So if this were normal, we would check to see, compare this uh, bilaterally. And if there's a uh, 20 degrees from extension, then that would indicate a um, tight hamstring. And for this area, muscle tightness is going to be a ELY's test, E-L-Y. Uh, for this one, the patient is going to be in a prone position. Okay, again, with the legs fully extended. <clears throat> on the tabletop. The <clears throat> athletic trainer is going to stand lateral to the patient and grasping the, the ankle with one hand and the second hand is going to be over the the uh, epsilateral pelvis area. Okay, And then what we're going to do is we're going to passively flex the knee uh, bringing the heel to the butt um, and then note any reaction of the hip. Um, if the hip were to uh, also flex off the table when the, when the knee is uh, flexed, uh, then that would indicate a uh, tight rectus femoris muscle. Next special test that we're going to do is, is called the piriformis test. For this uh, test the patient is going to be in a sideline position with um, the affected knee that you're testing is going to be on the top and what we're going to do is we are going to uh, flex the hip to about uh, 60 degrees of flexion uh, and the lower leg is going to be also be flexed um, either to about 90 or, or in a comfortable position the athletic trainer is going to, um, or therapist, is going to have the hand stabilized in the hip. The other hand is going to be over the lateral side of the knee. And in this position, what we're going to be doing is we are going to be um, applying a downward uh, pressure to the lateral knee. And um, if that uh, causes pain in the hip or the, the butt area, uh, that would indicate a uh, tight uh, piriformis muscle. If they have pain in the in the buttocks and the posterior um, thigh, uh, then that would indicate uh, sciatic nerve uh, secondary to uh, tight piriformis uh, 
muscle injury. That's it. The next special test that we're going to do for mus muscle test tightness is called the Chendillenburg test. And for this, we're going to ask the patient to stand uh, with the, the hands placed a lateral side of the waist. Uh, we may also ask them to you know, raise their, their uh, shirt tail a little bit. Uh, this allows the, uh, the, and also ask them to uh, lower the shorts to see the iliac crest. Uh, and the athletic trainer or therapist would stand behind the patient. And then, well, then to test this, we're gonna, he's going to stand on one foot, the limb with the suspected limb, limb involvement, okay, while flexing the hip and the knee of the other limb. Okay, so you're going to raise uh, one foot to the knee. Normal, normally, uh, iliac crest should be lower than the weight-bearing side and higher on the side of the weight-bearing uh, leg, non-weight-bearing leg. Uh, a positive test would be the iliac crest would be high on the non-weight-bearing leg and lower on the, on the non-weight-bearing leg. This indicates uh, gluteus medius tightness. Uh, is uh, weak or it could be associated with a nerve injury uh, to that muscle. 